Here we go. Bring the first rig in. It's been out there a little while. A couple of knots, I don't think it's nothing. Definitely not a ray. Probably a crab. Come along. I don't know, something little, maybe. As you can see now, I'm using the rod, reeling back in, keeping the line tension all the time, and using the rod to bring it in. It's all about pumping. Probably a dogfish. Feel something on there. I think so, mate. going. I don't like the side. Ray, I think. Right, Ed, we It's a fucking turbo! Don't let... It's a fucking turbo! Oh my God, boys and girls! I do not want... I know what I just got! Fishing, as we said many times before, boys and girls, <laughs> it's a time game, and that is a beaut. Come here, oh, that is, that is that's ray turbo. fishing. That's one of the joys of ray fishing. That is that, a beast. Oh, for sure. That is a beast. That mate. for sure. Andy, I can't wait to. I can't Fucking wait to bring this. Well done, mate. Let's get some film. <laughs> Let's get this film. Let's get him waved. Get him waved. Absolute beast. I'm gonna get a close up of this fish, and absolute what beast. What a monster! Please, that one, Andy. Um, was it eleven pounds six? Let's look at the scale, shall we? Lump and six. While raying. How about that for the film, boys and girls? Unreal. That's my PB turbo from the shore. So we're going to get him on up now. That beats, that beats your own by about six times, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, my, my biggest four. is four eight. Yeah. Look at that. That's a monster turbo. Monster turbo. And you can see the girth on that fish. Yeah. That. You turn in that way there, you can see the girth on that fish. That's three or four inches, that is. Let's get That's some, a bloody let's big get fish. Some. Absolutely over the moon I am. It's a PB turbot of mine, 11 pounds six. That is some percentage, some percentage, and uh, I'm over the moon. Cracking turbot, boys and girls. I just turned up on the beach to beat up with my friend Andy Webb from Total, Total Sea Fishing and uh, Andy Sea, uh, sea Angler Adventures with Andy Webb. He's just caught this amazing turbot from the beach, we're out raying. It's got 11 pounds six ounces, believe it or not, 11 pounds six. Now I've just looked on our uh, our club uh, weights for 100 percent specimen. 100 percent is two pounds. The fish is 11 pounds six ounces. I'm just about to check out our club record. And Andy Webb has just annihilated it by, well I'll tell you what the club record was, one pound ten ounces. It's now eleven pound six. Andy Webb, put it there, son. Best long, fish in a long, year. A long time. I don't know about that. I'll tell you what, I it's think we're looking at Wyvern fish. New club record. I don't know. And I'm well, it's, a, it's still a long what, time in a year. I'm going to put that on the percentage calculator, but you can pretty much work that out. So two pounds, hundred percent. So two, four, six, eight, 
10. That's... 11. That's, you like 600 odd percent fish. You, I, don't, I think they cut, cut it off after 300, didn't they? You've got to have the biggest fish in all here. All I can say is, guys, I put some big, big time into targeting turbot. Big, big time targeting turbot. Off tur turbot marks, big fish turbot marks, and my biggest fish is 4.8 previously. And one of the big joys of ray fishing is that, is, is that in it? You were saying it last night, what was he yeah. saying? Yeah. And he thinks he's And I've just shared it with me two buddies as well, over the moon. This is what we fish for. This is what we fish for. I'm going to give you the exact percentage it's going to go to now for some... What's what, that, for the club or? For the club. What's well, so 100% fish? Two, two pounds. Two pounds, so... 568.75%. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, mate. <laughs> what a beast. Oh, bloody hell. About time. Oh, my God. Well, into darkness now. Lots of dogfish coming out. I think I've had a couple. Will's had a couple. I'm sure Eddie's had a couple as well. We're all quite spread out now. But um, we're fishing down to low water. Over the moon, over the moon. I don't... Um, we were talking We were talking yesterday about bycatches and... Um, one of the joys of ray fishing, and absolutely, I can't believe it. I've, um, over the years, I've put a lot of time into targeting turbot. I've got a mark down in Cornwall, which I um, fish a lot for turbot, and I've had them to 4.8, um, and that is, that, I'm talking hundreds of trips down there. And um, we've come up the Dorset coastline today, and we've smashed it, absolutely unreal. And it, it, it's one of those times, uh, unreal, all of us are buzzing. It's like that day when Will had that uh, 20 pound blonde off the reef. It was just, it, just to be here and witness something like that. And we're all anglers and th this, is what we, this is what we fish for. We fish for fish like that. And it's, it's a fish of a lifetime for me. I, I, I'm quite speechless to be fair. Um, we've watched back on the video and you can see me reeling in and I had a couple of knocks and uh, I did, was it, well, as I started bringing it in, it felt light and it was going heavy and then it was going light again. And I, to be honest, I thought it was a dogfish until it got halfway in. I had it out of distance as well. And um, I could feel it start locking in and I thought it was a ray. And as I was like pumping back, as you've seen on the camera, um, until it got to the shoreline and Eddie, he was about to cast and he's seen the rod fold over and luckily went straight down to the shoreline. And um, it literally, all the ground all the way just come right in and um, sat on the beach and I'm looking down and I thought it was a blonde because it was really dark and I thought it wasn't wide enough to be a blonde and um, then I thought a stingray and then as soon as I, I couldn't really see it because I was right back up at the angle and uh, Eddie was turbot turbot and I do apologize for any of the language what would have been picked up in that video clip um, I don't really want to edit it because I want to I want it I want it to be free-flowing and everybody to see the joy that we all were but um, yeah I do apologize for the language folks but the, all the lads were excited um, but yeah, we're gonna fish this down now, probably fish it two hours back up and go off to another venue to target the small lights. Um, be, during getting up here late, uh, we would come here just because I know we can get fish throughout the tide. So we're gonna go off and tra target the bigger ones now and hopefully I think high tide's about half past five in the morning. So fingers crossed we, we can see one of us get a double figure small light for the camera. But apart from that, let's get back to fishing.